What is up, ladies and gents? Welcome back to the Beer for Beer Review channel. Back for another review. If you're new to this channel, welcome. We drink beers, we talk about it. And tonight, we have something I've been hanging on to forever. This is like, oh, it's Dogfish Head, Raison de Extra, right? That it is. But, it's, this was bottled March 15th, 2007. So we are headed for 11 years old in a month, uh, roughly. Less than a month since February is short. Um, but if you follow me on Instagram or untapped when I, this review post, you can go and see and I will post a picture of the neck label. I don't think I can get it to focus in, but we'll try right there. I don't know. We'll see if it picks it up. But that's what the bottle looks like. So anyway, the story behind this, my buddy was at the beach 11 years ago. This beer got discontinued in 2007. They did not start making it again until 2014. Um, the beer is 18% ABV, so I knew it would age. I knew it would age. I don't know if it aged well. We're going to find out. Um, so I got my buddy to buy, I think, five or six bottles of the stuff. I still have this one that I'm drinking and another one. I think he has a few bottles. Maybe. I don't know, Ronnie. You, you watch these videos, man. Comment below. Anyway, enough talking. This is an 11-year-old beer about to go into the glass. 18% when it was bottled. It is chock full of um, raisins, I think. This bulbous brown flavored ale was brewed with boatloads of big old raisins. That's on the bottle. 18% ABV. Here we go. We will give it an honest review. It looks okay. We expecting any carbonation to be left in this thing, though? Oh, that is flat, and that was an aggressive pour. Uh, no head, nothing. You guys saw it live, right? Not a thing. Um, it is a brown, reddish color. A little bit of light coming through the bottom, but it sits like a brown ale in the glass. That's it, no head to note. Um, no real oiliness to detect either. I can see a little bit of light looking down into it, but not much. Let's get a nose on it. It smells malty, syrupy. It does smell like raisins, a little bit of dark fruit. Prunish, like a lot, like a big prune nose on it, actually. And oddly enough, still some booze after almost 11 years. So yeah, like a boozy prune, molassesy smell to it is the best I can the best I can do. It doesn't smell off-putting at all, um, so I guess that's a good thing. Um, I'm expecting this to be super flat though. I don't see any carbonation. There is maybe one bubble down there that just rose to the top, and that is it. There's some sediment in this thing too if I can get a picture of that. Can y'all see that black spot down there in the bottom of the glass? I don't know. All right, here we go. The oldest beer I've ever drank, yeah, I think 1050. My buddy and I have drank some six and seven year old cans. That beer ages so well, y'all. Um, but anyway, 11 years, here we go. Ooh. Okay. Wow. It burns, y'all. Like liquor burn. Okay, so the booziness is dominant. A ton of booze. There is a sense of this sweet malt character, though, that kind of overtakes your whole mouth. It is syrupy. Um, think big brown bread, chewiness with raisins in that bread is fair. There is definitely this chewy, molassesy brown bread, raisiny thing going on. Some caramel toffee notes, too. But it... Let's try again.
the thing that is amazing is how much alcohol hung around. That there's still a throat burn from the booze in this beer. But it does finish really nice in the mouth, for real, guys. And gals, it's got this uh, raisiny, caramely toffee thing going on that is good. I mean, it's just good. However, the booziness and the the just straight up alcohol astringency, is that the word I'm looking for? Like rubbing alcohol burn? It's not astringent, that'd be soap, I guess. So it's just alcohol burn is so prominent in the throat, but then it does, it subsides and you're left with all this sweetness in your mouth. That's wild. I don't know what to tell you. I don't think the alcohol is going anywhere. It is flat, but the mouthfeel is so big and chewy. Kind of overpowering. And even now, the alcohol creeps back into my mouth. So I don't know. I'm going to hang on to another bottle and try it in another 10 years. See if the alcohol holds. But that's impressive. 18%, um, it drinks like... It drinks like 18% very easily for me anyway um but some neat some neat mouthful stuff going on the chewy the toffee the raisiny pruny thing still going on don't know it's fun to age and to drink an 11 year old beer uh, fun untapped check-in you know no longer in production 18 percent of the let's see how many it had um when we uh how many check-ins this beer has period from 2007 Sorry about that, guys. So obviously me, no. Uh, total check-ins of 1,570 to this month. So somebody else has held onto these bottles this long. Um, has a pretty high rating of 4.35. I normally don't talk about ratings on my, on my channel, but I don't know. I don't know what I would rate this beer. I don't rate beers anymore. I'll leave it on untapped. But wow. It's a big, boozy, caramely, toffee, chewy mess. They taste okay. Anyway, thank you guys so much for tuning in to the 11-year-old beer review. Uh, what's the oldest beer you've drank? Comment below. Let me know. Until next time, y'all. Cheers.